कृषी विपणन आ रोगा संबंधित महतिपूर्ण वीडियो बढ़नेस कॉटन गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल सब्स्क्राइब करा आ नवीन वीडियो बढ़नेस बेल आयकॉन व्लिक करा सुधीर जी आर यू लाइव राइट नाउ मनीष जी थैंक यू Uh, so Thank three you, minutes uh, which have been given to each of us i will i would like to make uh, one single point let uh, me compliment you sudhir ji before you start speaking when in close up you look so much like uh, mahatma gandhi oh uh, many God. people will agree <laughs> with me <laughs> we have recently you. celebrated 150th centenary please continue so so uh, one question which i think all of us should uh, re- think of how do we integrate various agri verticals in cotton value chain horizontally to connect farmers to the consumers now in the word cotton day this is one single thought which comes to my mind and we have been talking about the problems in the entire value chain for many many years and as mr sandeshekar is pointing out the time has come to resolve all those issues by way of this integration so the point is that we only talk about agri verticals whether they are seeds or fertilizers or nutrients or mechanization and so on but there are very few organizations like cotton guru who would like to horizontally integrate them in food space you must be knowing dehar is one such organization in bihar which is connected to 350000 farmers and connecting the farmers to the consumers and how should we do it so there is a need of service providers to make this happen not as charity but as a business and thousands of such service providers would be needed to establish localized value chains connecting say 1000 farmers to a ginner or to a textile mill or to anyone in the value chain and so we need service providers now would these service providers be right. in government and would they be in private sector or ngo the point is that it has to be in the form of a business and so the right. trade will have to change its character and the new generation probably will not like the way the trade was being done so far for maybe hundreds of years in cotton the new generation would like to do it differently and that would be a digital platform on a digital platform is it possible to bring all the market players and all the value chain players on a single platform where we are not just the buyers and sellers we are also technology providers and we are a service provider which is a concept which has been recognized by government in the new farm bills you can be in other than a buyer and a seller also a service provider and the contract which is there it can be a tripartite service provider does not mean just the seed supplier service provider means that who supplies all the services across the value chain and so the new farms will provide an ecosystem to make it happen and the direct buying from the farmers is possible by the industry the contract farming is possible to meet the industry needs the only need is to have an an organization in between which is not just a trader but is a service provider and the question comes that how we will be able to take it forward in the years to come when we will require thousands of such kind of service provider unfortunately there are not many organizations who are looking into this aspect of agriculture and i dare say this is not only for cotton for all crops we need such kind of service providers because like unlike in a uh, europe and and uh, uh, usa we are not having such kind of farmers who will be able to integrate all the components of a value chain by themselves and the direct negotiation between the farmers and the industry is very much possible at other places but not in india in most of the farmers when 85% are are small and marginal farmers now the one issue remains how do we resolve the issue of this msp when when there is a connectivity between the buyer and the seller and the market 
market rate is below MSP, the and the farmers would run away to the government centers. And how do we resolve this issue? This is something which all of us will have to put our heads together. Once thought would be out of 35 million bales which we normally produce, it is not more than 10 million bales which are ever ever taken by government. It means there is still the trade takes care of the majority of the cotton which is being produced. And if we are able to come what together, the farmers point? would not be guided only by MSP. They will be guided with higher productivity in a value chain. They would be guided for the lower cost of cultivation, better quality, and the chances to export their produce the way it has happened in other crops like grapes. So a time will come when such kind of cotton value chain will be uh, something which which will not be by exception but by rule in this country and that will be the day when the dream which mr keshav kranti had shown that we can have the productivity increase to an extent of four times the way it has been done in any other countries while we will have such value chains and the farmers would see the advantages of uh, better prices reliability sustainability and the long term income in their view they would certainly change their behavior so that's all i wanted to say hopefully by the next year when we have the world cotton day we will have at least few examples of such kind of a cotton value chain being uh, presented in this conference thank you very much yes uh, with your blessings of course uh, sudhir ji has been uh, in our advisory committee with his vast experience we are working out a way to reach out to the small holder farmers so that they can aggregate they can segregate and they can find the right buyers whether it be the government or the private trade thank you dr sudhir goel